Hello Virgo and welcome to your November Insights video. This month we're doing things a little bit differently. Instead of talking you through the whole lunar cycle um, and the rhythms and cycles of the moon goddess like I usually do, uh, this month we're going to focus on the three major shifts that are happening. We're all reaching a crossroads of destiny during this time where um, the planets are shifting from one area of our birth chart to another, which is creating um, change and fresh opportunities. It's a very exciting time, and the shifts that are happening right now, with Jupiter moving into Sagittarius and the nodes moving into Cancer and Capricorn, will be affecting us for the upcoming 13 and 18 month cycles. So these videos will... Um, be worth revisiting as you know these energies are going to be impacting you for quite some time so we're in this you know powerful 11 month this powerful vortex of change and rebirth even though it feels like the whole year has been a little bit like that and we've got you know three planets stationing changing direction as well venus is direct mercury is going retrograde neptune is moving forward <laughs> so there's lots of different energies that we will be um, feeling and you know affecting different areas of our life depending on our birth chart so let's talk about Sagittarius first the great benefic you know the generous king of the gods he has been in Scorpio since last October and for you Virgo he's been going through your third house of networking communication, the house of the throat chakra, the house of Gemini. Because he's been in Scorpio, he has been, you know, creating lessons as well as blessings in the area that he's been transiting for all of us. So for yourself, you might have noticed that new opportunities, new friendships, new networks came into your life as old ones, you know, disintegrated and fell away. You might have been really noticing the call to speak your truth, to speak about your, you know, your deep emotions and get deeper understanding of your own psychology, your own mental programming and patterning as well during this period. So it's been a deep dive into the psyche, collectively and personally with Jupiter in Scorpio. As he moves into Sagittarius, he crosses the foundational axis of your birth chart, Virgo. He crosses the cusp from the third to the fourth house. So this is the womb space of the birth chart. This is the house that is ruled over by Cancer, ruled over by the moon goddess herself. So when we have a transit in this house, it can make us, um, particularly when it's an adventurous energy like Jupiter, like Sagittarius, it can make us feel like we want to perhaps change or improve our living space on a practical level. Over the next 13 months, as Jupiter moves through this space of your birth chart, you might find yourself feeling the need to expand your horizons, you know, to maybe travel or move somewhere that you haven't ever been before. You might feel the need to make improvements to your home, so it's more in alignment with your authentic nature, your authentic truth. You may, um, you know, f the desire to make these changes will be initiated and greatly supported because Jupiter in Sagittarius is such a benefic energy. Um, this is the house of home, of the family, of the ancestors. When we think of the fourth house, and you know also the energies of the north node in cancer we think of the fact that we were a cell in our mother's body when she was in her grandmother's womb so this can create um, healing and blessings in the areas of family as well um, if there's been challenges and difficulties going on you know jupiter can bring resolutions opportunities for everybody to um, get along while still maintaining their own truth um, and also you know for those of you looking to settle down looking to 
you know, create a solid foundation, to create a home, to create a family, you know, maybe you're looking to have a baby or, you know, finding a partner to settle down with and lay those roots down, then this can also be a very, very beneficial time. Um, there could be a pull because Jupiter is such a, and Sagittarius is such a freedom loving energy. So there might be this kind of inner push pull over the coming 13 months of all, oh, do I really want to settle down? Do I really want to be tied down to the same place? Or do I want to expand and explore? You know, is there a way that I can do both that I can feel secure and rooted yet also feel free? So there's an intricate balance to be found there over the coming months. Um, you could also find, you know, like I say, issues of ancestry and lineage cropping up. This might be a good time to do a family tree, to look back down the family line. And it can be a powerful time for using spiritual wisdom to heal any um, karmic miasms, any old entrenched belief systems and patterns that have been passed down through your family lineage to break the cycle so it doesn't get passed on to future generations as well. But all in all, we're having an expansion of these themes of, you know, rooting, mothering, nurturing, home life. Um, this is the house of the divine feminine. So we could feel a deep spiritual connection emerging to what we, you know, call the feminine, you know, what the feminine means to us, what the goddess means to us as well during this period. So we might be diving deeper into studies or teachings around um, the divine feminine too. So it's an exciting period. And Jupiter enters this space of your birth chart on the 8th of November, so the day after the Scorpio new moon. On the 6th of November, the nodes shifted signs. So this is another one of the big transformative events of the month because the nodes haven't been, um, the North Node hasn't been in Cancer since um, 2000, 2001. That was the last time it was transiting this sign. And it will be here for 18 months. So it's a big shift because the North Node collectively and personally is the evolutionary focus of the soul at any given moment. So we are all collectively coming into those Cancerian fourth house energies that I've just described for you as well. Um, but the house of your birth chart, it's transiting, indicates the, the pull of your soul to evolve during this upcoming period. So for you, the North Node, Virgo has been in your 12th house. It's been transiting Leo, um, North Node in Leo, South Node in Aquarius, since May 2017. So the, the nodes have been moving along your axis of service and sacrifice. So you might have seen themes around, you know, martyrdom rising up during this period. You might have been having to really look at your boundaries how much you're giving to other people, how much you're receiving. This can also be a axis of looking at our addictions and our health. Um, maybe you've been called to purify and detoxify some of the areas of your life mentally, physically and emotionally that have no longer been serving you. Um, you know, purification, detoxification could have been one of the underlying themes of the past few years as could, you know, finding a career that serves you as well. The sixth house where the north node's been, um, the south node, sorry, has been transiting in Aquarius where we had that big Aquarius full moon and Mars retrograde over the summer. It's also to do with work and career. So we might have had, you know, changes on all of these, you know, very foundational parts of our life. The sixth house rules with that, is ruled over by Virgo and it deals with our day-to-day -day reality, the job that we do, the foods that we nourish our body with, you know, how we organise and schedule our time. So all of the things that form the basis of a healthy life. So that's been a big focus, you know, what you need to let go of so that you can be healthier and happier over the past cycle. 
the North Node in Leo, you know, in the 12th house as well, would have been really calling you to step up on your spiritual pathway, to recognise your intuitive connection to all that is. Perhaps you started a new meditation practice, perhaps you, um, you know, felt the need to turn within and have more solitude so you can connect with your deeper self during this period. There might have been a lot of karmic cleansing, you know, the 12th house is very multidimensional. So you may have felt the, the need to clear things, you know, through lifetimes during this period. So as the nodes shift, they move on to your 11th and 5th house axis. So they move, so the north node in Cancer moves into your 11th house, the south node moves into your 5th house, ruled over by Capricorn, where Pluto and Saturn are currently transiting as well. So this is a huge area of focus, and we've talked about this in previous videos, Virgo, about the 5th house, learning to express yourself authentically, learning to come into that space of sacred self-love for yourself without needing the approval of other people. So the south node moving into this space will kind of amplify this energy any more, even more, calling you to let go of old programs, old paradigms that don't support you in these endeavours. The 11th house, which will be your evolutionary focus for the next 18 months, is the house of friendships, of networks, of social connections, of big dreams, of big visions. It's often called the house of gainfulness. It's one of the most positive areas of the birth chart. And, you know, it's also very connected with the 1111, which is fulfilled kind of energies as well. So it's a, it's a nice space for the North Node to be. It can help you to Place your focus on nurturing and nourishing your dreams, your visions, your goals, letting go of the need for approval from others and really starting to put your unique individual self out there and show the world what you've got. Also, this can be a good time when you can connect with family and friends, you know, that are become like a tribe to you. Cancer is all about... Um, tribal connections coming together in a you know in deep emotional way so you can maybe draw new friends new circles um, to you that help you see the world in a different way during this period so place your attention on nourishing the connections that serve you and the people that accept you for who you are Virgo also on the 6th, we have Uranus moving back into Aries. You know, he entered Taurus earlier this year, around the 15th of May. And that's where he's been. You know, he moved into the ninth house of your birth chart, which is the house of higher wisdom and our belief system. So this could be a time when you've had lots of breakthroughs on your spiritual pathway, you know, lots of Things may be calling you to liberate yourself from the beliefs that don't serve you and find a true authentic connection to who you truly are. Um, he is going to slip back into your eighth house for these coming months until spring 2019. So as he moves back, it's almost like he, he's asking us to revisit what we learned throughout 2011 up until May 2018 as he transited this area of our birth chart. So the eighth house is the Scorpio house. It's the house of, you know, sacred sexuality, death, rebirth, other people's resources, how we share our intimate and financial energies. So he's coming back to make sure that you have truly learnt your lessons in these areas of your life. You know, perhaps there's a few other patterns or remnants of old conditioning in these areas that you need to break free of. Perhaps there are some, you know, lingering attachments which are not serving your soul 
Again, Uranus and Aries is all about authentic truth. So we're coming back to realigning with that in Scorpionic areas. This is also a very psychic house of the birth chart. So you may find that um, your psychic senses and your intuition sharpens during this period as well. So trust your instincts, Virgo, trust your gut. Um, as you're being pulled in these new directions by the North Node in Sagittarius, you know, make sure that what you're moving towards truly feels right in your soul. It's truly aligned with who you are and who you wish to become and what you wish to share with the world. So I'm going to finish this reading by pulling you a card from the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck by Alana Fairchild. And I've chosen these because they are really beautiful for giving us guidance on our soul's evolutionary pathway. And of course, Uranus is nothing if not a rebel. So let's pick a card for you for the coming month, Virgo. After the storm. So we've got a beautiful owl there. You know, which really relates to that energy of perception that I was just talking about. And this card is all about seeing the bigger picture. So it reminds us that oftentimes when there is chaos, when there is, you know, times of transition in our lives and we are swept away on the winds of change and we can't quite clearly see the path ahead of us. This card reminds us that all becomes clear after the storm. You know, like when there is an actual thunderstorm uh, and all of a sudden, when it's finished, the air is clear, everything feels fresher. And this card reminds you that afterwards, after we move through the panic and anxiety, we can see things with fresh eyes and we can understand the mysterious workings of the universe in a way that we couldn't while we were in the eye of the storm. So this is a message for you, Virgo, to not get caught up in the details, but to rise up and see the bigger perspective of any challenges um, or changes that might arise or that are arising currently for you. So thank you so much for listening to me. If you wish to connect with me further, there are some links to my Facebook pages and groups beneath this video. Have a beautiful November, Virgo.